An already unique northern Michigan home is getting a lot of attention for the spectacular renovations happening inside and out. In February, we introduced you to a man transforming an historic home in Charlevoix. His vision to add a thatched roof. In this special report, 9 and 10's Kevin Essebaggers and Chief Photojournalist Corey Adkins checked in on his progress and found out he has a whole lot more in store for this project. It's the roof on this historic early young home that gets all the attention. The thatch is unique, but not close to the only unique feature of this remodeling. It's really a reimagining. But this is all on the move. It's, it's not, it's designed and then it's turned into art. Michael Seitz is an engineer, but he may have the most outrageous construction ideas, those of an artist. You're really on a project like this because you're working with, with folks who, who work to drawing, they have techniques, they have, when you start with these ideas, they go, yeah, 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 we hear you, but mm, it's not exactly the way it's done, and then they want to show me how it's really done. And of course, because I talk with my hands, I'm excited, I've got this vision, they kind of think, oh, the guy's living a little on cloud nine. <laughs> but I'm not. I have a PhD in engineering, I know what's going to work ultimately. Like the staircase that you might think would fall apart. So this looks like a stack of slabs of timber. But in the middle is a, is a steel pipe. So it looks like it's from the Flintstones, all balanced. I had all these little wedges cut. It looks as though the whole thing's about to blow over. But structurally, there's a steel pipe in there. It's not going anywhere. Back outside, these craftsmen had to learn a new technique on the roof's ridge, a technique Michael dreamed up for a specific look. So I came up with this idea of taking sacking material. So you put reinforcing down, you lay the sacking in, then you put the concrete into it, and it becomes like the casing on a sausage. So now you can fill that with concrete, you roll it up, and you can almost mold it with your hands, and then it looks like syrup was put on the top of an ice cream, and you know, or caramel, and it's just oozing down a little bit, and you get that oozing feel around the edge, and that's going to be such an awesome finish. Nearly as awesome as the eye-catching thatched roof itself, a roof that is not quite finished. Believe it or not, Colin ran out of thatch. <laughs> he needed to get more material. You see, on a project like this, exact measurements, square corners, and anything ordinary just won't do. I wanted to balance this room and really make the focal point as you come in the door, this grand staircase. And the idea is that we are now going to take that same rock that these fireplaces are made of and that this house is built of, and we're going to turn this into a stone staircase. As the house starts to take shape, sometimes literally step by step, Michael's vision becomes set in stone, even though his plans are never that way. Once you get into that mode, you start, wow, I can start breaking some rules. I can start using materials in a way that they were never intended to. The walls Earl Young built will not be touched. They're the inspiration for all of this. A practically new, rustic, old dream house that takes shape every night in one man's dreams. Oh, it's great. It touches so many good worlds. You've got the the part where you're really trying to build something solid, strong, that can withstand inspections, <laughs> can test of time. At the same time, you can create this art and you can see what you can do to, to make it look good. And that's a unique experience. It's such a rush. It's amazing. With Chief Photojournalist Corey Atkins, Kevin Essebeggers, 9 and 10 News at 5.